You gon' leave me alone I was only 16, laying in my bunk bed Dreaming of the riches, how I'm gonna get there Now it doesn't seem so far Hello guys, my name is King Milk, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to work with Velocity in Sony Vegas Pro. So the first thing you want to do is obviously open uh, Sony Vegas. Uh, I'm going to need to do this one second. Once it's open, uh, what you're going to want to do is open a, uh, create a new project. Make it uh, whatever settings you, you desire. Mine, my preference is 90 by 20 to by uh, 1080 at 60 FPS because it's the smoothest when you're working with edits. Uh, make sure the render quality is always best. Motion type uh, is a caution, and resample mode is always disabled. Uh, so once you've done that, you've got your basic um, edit. Now what you want to do is import one of your clips. So for me, it's just a little pre-made one I found on YouTube. A guy was sending out. So I'm just going to drag that straight in. It comes with cinematics and all into one video, which is quite useful. So what I'm going to do is find the parts that I want to use and just clip them out. You can clip by pressing S. So for example, up to the point where he shoots and out. So don't need that bit. And then I need the death animation, which is... I'll take it from here to here. Perfect, so now that I have the actual clip and cinematic that I need, as so, I can now work on velocity. But before I'm going to do that, I'm going to make this video look 10 times better by adding black bars. You go to pan and crop, you make sure that the aspect ratio is set to X and Z, uh, X and Y, sorry. You hold control and you click the top bar and you just drag down until you're happy. And then you uh, left click on the key mo uh, the key point there, uh, you control C that, then go to the other clip at the beginning and paste it. So the black bars carry through. Anyway, so now that you've got the videos, you've got the black bars, you're happy, whatever, you want to work on velocity. But before you want to work on velocity, you need music. So for this song, for this, I'm going to find one. Okay, so once you've got the song like I do here, let me just pause Spotify. There you go. Once you've got the song, what you're going to want to do is sort of get the rough idea of where the beat is. So for the, uh, this is the song. The bass is basically the marker of your velocity. So let me just turn this up so you can hear. You can find the bass on the waveform by, it's mainly the most squashed together but highest peaked uh, waves. Most people tend to uh, mark them with markers by pressing them. Like so, just so you know where that is. And that's a good guy. But I find it a little bit distracting, so I don't really tend to do that often. Uh, right, anyhow. So you're going to want to just time this. And it's not about timing at all, it's gets to the velocity part. So to do the velocity you want to right click the clip, head down to insert and remove envelope and then click on velocity. It's that easy. So now it will automatically be set at 100% speed or velocity and this is the part where, this is the fun part where you get to play around. So normally before the first bass drop which is here, in this case I will place a marker just so it's easier for you to see, uh, you want to normally I generalize by sort of the length of the timeline and sort of the time that the clip takes before the drop, if that makes any sense, uh, before I place a key point. But you can literally do make one by uh, double clicking on the velocity line, which is the green line. So you place one before the, mar uh, the marker, the base drop, and then you place one on it and then one sort of the same distance in front. Now what you do with these ones is pretty much nothing. Uh, the one on top you want to set to around two to three hundred. I normally set to three hundred because it's it gives it the most sort of oomph. And what you want to do with this sort of connecting line is go to slow fade, and the other one uh, set as fast fade. And now you might not see much difference there because 
the video is playing 100%. Say if you were to set it to half velocity, which is 50%, so before and after, you see the difference. Ah, now the problem I have here is yeah so basically the slower the video is the more you have to play around the velocity so in my case as you saw there if I set it to 300 it won't do anything it will simply speed up the time it takes this guy to scope in so what I do to fix that is I raise the velocity until you're happy so this is how it looks But if you want it to look a little better, you can drag this out a little bit more. So it really gives it that sort of boost when you shoot. And now obviously you're going to want it to flow into the other clip. So you find the part where you want to switch the clip. And I'm thinking this clap here. So I'm going to cut that part out, add that part in, do the same for this part, add velocity. Okay, now before we do that, on the other clip, you want to go a couple keyframes before. So if you want to do it precisely, just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's normally the optimum one. And then you find the first keyframe, you set that to 300 or whichever specific number, but make sure to remember it, set it to slow fade. And on the first clip, the fir very first keyframe, you set to the exact number you set the other keyframe to, which in my case was 300. And then again, you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 keyframes out and set it back to whatever the hell it was. In my case, it's 50. And then you want to fast fade that, just to exactly the actual initial shot. So this is how it will transition. You can see how it sort of warps quickly. It goes quickly, but it stops but in this case I might want to raise that a little more so that not too much and extend that a little bit more this is the fun part because you can really play around with this and then you want to find the other base part which is here and do the exact same thing so it does the sort of jitter and what you can do to give it uh, a more not sort of glitchy instant effect is to drag out the f the after part sorry the before part um, the more you drag them out the longer the effect will last so it looks a bit more smooth So you want to keep that. So if it's too too sort of short together, like it was initially, like that, it looks like a just a really weird jitter, which obviously doesn't look too nice. So the more you drag it out, the longer the actual velocity takes, the smoother it will look. So that's pretty much it for that part. You just want to highlight the part. And this is actually quite useful for all the new people. When you are editing, uh, if you don't have a good computer, the best setting to have as a preview setting is preview and auto, good and auto, or best and auto. In my case, I can do best and auto. Uh, to be able to pre-render and preview whatever you made, you just click anywhere, drag and click, highlight with blue, and then press Control, Shift, and B to pre-render. You can do it a couple times just to make sure no, no clips are missed out. And this is basically the finished product. Nice and simple. Wasn't too hard. Uh, in the following videos, I'm going to show you how to add, how to sort of make this look a lot better. Anyhow, thank you for sticking around. See you in the next one. I got black, I got white, what you want? Hop outside and go say hop up in a fan, uh. I know I'm about to blow away.